Hey guys and welcome once again to my channel. If you have been here and if you haven't, it is so nice of you to pass by. So for today's video, I'm finally sharing with you my skincare routine. And I just want to point out that this is the routine that I follow when I'm like breaking out a lot or when I'm trying to prevent breakouts. So all the products in this routine are kind of based on that. There are obviously a lot of other products that I use like if my skin is feeling a little dry even though i don't have dry skin and there are days when my skin just needs more hydration if my skin is feeling a little tight if you know like there's obviously products for every type of necessity that you may have but today's video is going to be focused on my oily acne prone skin these are products that have worked for me these are products that i really really like if you want to see how i treat my oily acne prone skin just keep on watching Okay, so the first thing that I do is obviously remove my makeup and for that I like to use Bioderma, which is a cleansing water. I have tried the one by Simple and I just don't like it as much. It just doesn't remove the eye makeup especially as well as Bioderma does. So here is little old me just removing everything and as you can see, Bioderma is amazing. It removes the most stubborn makeup including liquid lipstick which is what I was wearing right now and uh, eyebrow waterproof products everything it's just so good and it's so gentle on the skin next I wash my face and lately for that I've been using this bar soap by Erno Laszlo this is the oil control one I believe I have also used the charcoal one from them and they are both really really good I do like the charcoal one better but this one is good as well I just couldn't find the charcoal one at TJ Maxx which is where I found this one then with the same soap I like to scrub my face with a cognac sponge this one I got at TJ Maxx as well if you go you're going to find a lot of these I'm pretty sure or you can check Amazon as well but it's very good for the skin especially if you have like little dry patches it's amazing then just for the sake of this video I'm just removing that soap with a wet towel then I love this mask this is by Queen Helene I think that's how you pronounce it and this is the mint julep mask it is amazing for acne I'm telling you it is incredible I would go as far as to say that it is a dupe for the glam glow in terms of like the results that you get whenever I use this literally the next day my pimples have reduced in size tremendously and it's just so good it does burn just a little bit because it does have a mint but the results are just amazing and then while I let that mask dry I just go on my phone snapchat Facebook Instagram all of that <laughs> and then once that mask is completely dry what I like to do is take a towel and dampen it with warm water and then just place it on my skin it gives me kind of like a spa feel if you will and it loosens up the mask since it is so dry obviously and hard on the skin and that way I just remove the mask with that same towel by the way this mask I get it at CVS and it's like three dollars or something like that it is such a good deal and if my skin is looking a little red it's just because of the mint it's not that it's harsh or anything like that then I go ahead and take a shower before I continue to the other part of the skincare routine and then for toner what I have been loving doing lately is mixing witch hazel with tea tree oil these are both incredible ingredients for acne these are so good tea tree oil is amazing it can be a little harsh on the skin so you do have to dilute it which is why I mix it with witch hazel if you wanted to use it as a spot treatment you could mix it with maybe like coconut oil or almond oil or something like that even olive oil and as you can see this mixture removes even more dirt from the skin now this is a new product that I have been using which is rose water I've heard that it's very hydrating and I can't say much about it because I did just start using it I got that bottle of TJ Maxx for eye cream I've been enjoying the Derma E eye cream it is nice and hydrating but my favorite still is the Bobbi Brown eye cream it's just that it costs an arm and a leg and I just can't do it all the time and then for moisturizer I have been really liking the belief moist no not the moisturizing the aqua balm i already told you guys about this a few months back but i really love this moisturizer because it is hydrating but it's not oily 
and it's so good for oily skin like mine and lastly for my lips there is nothing that i trust more than my carmex i get it at dollar tree if you can believe it and it is just the best for chapped lips especially if you live in a cold state and that brings us to the end of this video thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos and at the end of my skincare routine i just go to bed just kidding I go to Snapchat and I spend all night there. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Bye.